Sergei Vasilyevich Ryakovsky, Russian. Cyrillic capital letter S, Cyrillic small letter I, Cyrillic small letter ER, Cyrillic small letter G, Cyrillic small letter I, combining acute accent, Cyrillic small letter short 1, Cyrillic capital letter V, Cyrillic small letter E, Cyrillic small letter S, Cyrillic small letter I, Cyrillic small letter L, Cyrillic small letter soft sign, Cyrillic small letter I, Cyrillic small letter V, Cyrillic small letter I, Cyrillic small letter J, Cyrillic capital letter ER, Cyrillic small letter Y, Cyrillic small letter H, Cyrillic small letter O, Cyrillic small letter V, Cyrillic small letter S, Cyrillic small letter K, Cyrillic small letter I, Cyrillic small letter short 1, the 29th of December 1962, the 21st of January 2005, was a Soviet Russian serial killer, convicted for the killing of 18 people in the Moscow area between 1988 and 1993. Background Sergei Vasilyevich Ryakovsky was born on the 29th of December 1962 in the Saltykovka area of Balashika, Moscow Oblast, a city one kilometer, 0.62 miles east of Moscow. Ryakovsky was 6 feet 6 and 198 centimeters tall and weighed 280 pounds, 130 kilograms. In 1982, Ryakovsky claimed he began to feel an irresistible desire for intimacy with a woman, and made several attempts to rape elderly women in the Galyanovo area of East Moscow, for which he was convicted of hooliganism and received a four-year sentence in prison. Murders in 1988, Ryakovsky committed his first murder when he killed a homosexual man in Bitsa, a village in Moscow Oblast on the outskirts of Moscow. The same year he killed three homosexual men in Ismailovsky Park, which Ryakovsky claimed was part of his personal mission to cleanse society by killing homosexuals and prostitutes. Despite this, the majority of his victims between 1988 and 1993 were elderly women, although he also killed five men and two teenagers. Ryakovsky's main methods of killing were stabbing or strangulation with his bare hands or rope and after the victim had died he mutilated the bodies, mainly in the genital area. Some corpses of Ryakovsky's victims would have sexual acts performed upon them. In January 1993, Ryakovsky murdered a 78-year-old man, cut off his head with a hunting knife and, one day later, returned to cut off his leg. His next victim, a 65-year-old woman, had her abdomen ruptured with a weak pyrotechnical device. He hanged, eviscerated, and then decapitated his penultimate victim, a 16-year-old boy, with a knife. Arrest and conviction During a routine search of a crime scene area, police investigators found a shack with a noose fixed to the ceiling. Considering it a part of the preparation for the next murder, they decided to set an ambush. On the 13th of April 1993 Ryakovsky arrived at the shack and was subsequently arrested by the police officers. Despite his considerable strength and violent temperament, Ryakovsky showed absolutely no resistance, later admitting that after seeing weapons in the hands of officers he became frozen with fear. The Russian press nicknamed Ryakovsky, the Balashik Ripper and the Hippopotamus because of his thick neck and tall posture. During the investigation Ryakovsky cooperated with officials and investigators, willingly indicating crime scenes and describing methods of killing. According to his confessions, most murders were not planned and were rather an effect of a sudden impulse, which was used to explain motivation behind the murder of a 70-year-old woman and 78-year-old man Ryakovsky had accidentally met in the forest. There was an exception, as the murders of the three homosexuals he had met in Ismailovsky Park in 1988 were thoroughly planned. Most victims were people over 40 and around 50 years of age, while three of his victims were over 60. According to psychiatrists from the Moscow Serbsky Institute, Ryakovsky's necrophiliac tendencies were caused by a malfunction in his central nervous system. He was evaluated as sane, competent for trial and fully responsible for his actions. However, after being informed of his diagnosis, Ryakovsky's behavior changed dramatically. At first, 
complacent and fully cooperating with the investigators, he suddenly became obstructive, stopped cooperating, began demanding punishment for the experts, and also revoked his previous confessions. During the 1993 Russian constitutional crisis, Ryakovsky, who supported the Supreme Soviet, wrote a letter to Alexander Rutsky claiming that he is an innocent victim of the anti-national authority. In July 1995, Ryakovsky was sentenced to death by firing squad, and after hearing the verdict said, I will be back. However, in 1996 Russia imposed a moratorium on executions, instead the sentence was commuted to life imprisonment in a maximum security penal colony in Solokamsk, Perm Oblast. Death Ryakovsky died on the 21st of January 2005 from long untreated tuberculosis while serving his sentence in prison. References